what was he trying to say to you? <laughs> I don't even know. I wasn't even trying to listen. Wasn't trying to hmm. listen. Okay, Shannon, what do you read into this? This had nothing to do with football. When he said what he said, that was, that was not football related. This is deeper than this. Now, I don't know what exactly it is. I have my, uh, have my suspicions, but I'm just going to keep those to myself. Cam tried to handle this like a man, Skip. You walk up to, the, you walk up to a, uh, uh, and he came up, you look at him, he had his hands behind his back. So he's coming up in a non-threatening, non-confrontational manner. Bro, what's up? Because Cam and, and, and Kevin Benjamin, mm -hmm. call, Cam calls him Benji, were great friends. Yep. They used to hang out together. Fact. That's not conjecture. No. Nope. That's fact. They used no, to I hang out. Come to Atlanta, kick it with Cam. Yep. Drive Cam whips. That's neither here nor there. Skip, for you to take a shot at this man from afar. It's not football related, Skip. Something went on. Something happened. We may never know. Because for me, I give you a prime example, Skip. About a month ago, we were talking about the Hall of Fame. And I was talking about you. We were talking about T.O. And I said, and I was in context. And, oh, I, I know what it was about. It was about Randy Moss mentoring uh, Jameis Winston. Mm -hmm. But I said, okay, I said, you know, Randy now is a different person yep. than he was back then. Mm -hmm. I said, but Randy issues with immaturity. Mm -hmm. Jameis has a totally different issue. Where Randy comes in, he's working out. He just he sees me talking and he assumes that I'm being negative. He tweets. At Shannon Sharp, you got a problem with me? I know you being real negative. I get on the phone with somebody that knows him, knows me. I said, hey, let me get Randy's number. I get his number. I call Randy. I said, Moss, what's up? He said, man, no. He's like, man, you just, you know, I just, lately, man, you just been real negative. You just been, you been on me, dog. That's good. <laughs> That's really I said, good. Randy. I said, Randy, let me give you context. I said, I wasn't being negative. I said, if you go back and listen to what I said, actually, I was being very positive. Talk to him like a man. I'm not going back and forth, no beef or nothing like that, because it wasn't like that. I was just trying to explain the situations are entirely different. Randy had maturity issues. Jameis has other issues. But, hey, here nor there. For Cam to go out of his way, it's like, bro, what's up? We used to be cool. What's this about? If you got a prop skip, like, and my thing was, I wasn't going to go back and forth with Randy on Twitter. I can just call him. Okay, Benji, you got a problem with me? Bro, talk to me. You could have picked up the phone and called me. Yep. Okay, I'm here now. That's why he motioned Thomas away. He did. Thomas he, Davis. Thomas yeah. Davis. Yep. Nobody needs to hear this. No microphones all around. Mm -hmm. What's up, bro? What's the problem? What, you got a problem? Mm -hmm. I mean, was something said, something done? Let's get this in no football. This ain't about no cover two. This is not, no, about, a, this, no. this is not about you missing me on a slant or you missing me on the back shoulder mm -hmm. fade. It's something deeper than this. Play too long. Mm. It's... It's, I mean, I would. Uh, we questioned for the longest time. We questioned Cam's maturity. This is the time. This is one of those mm -hmm. times I thought Cam was real mature because yep. he handled it like a man. I'm gonna come up. I was one. Bro, we used to be cool. Yeah. We not cool anymore. Why? What happened? I respect and I appreciate the way Cam Newton handled that last night because his whole body language was. I don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. I just want to talk. Right. As you said, he put his hands behind his back and locked them behind mm -hmm. his back, and he kept his earbuds in, which would indicate, you know, if you pull your earbuds, maybe it's like, right. let's go right, right. here. Mm -hmm. Let's settle it mm -hmm. right here. But he kept them in, and he challenged Kelvin to his face on Kelvin's turf. This game was at Buffalo. Right. So it's not at, at Charlotte, you know. Th this is where you're saying – Okay, I'm on your field, right. and I'm asking you to tell me, and then Thomas Davis tries to mediate. Nope, no, 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 no. Mm. This is between us. Right. And remember, Thomas Davis has been there. This is his 14th season. <laughs> yeah, he is a Panther, man. Yes, yes. And, and he is the leader, certainly, of the defense, mm -hmm. and you could argue of the football team, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So he's trying to break a little ice there, and Cam says, no, no, no. Mm -hmm us here and obviously they have a deep they had a had. deep, deep right. relationship and then as it started to evolve you could see that cam was the bigger man literally and figuratively because cam's bigger than kelvin benjamin well i'm looking at it, at the video saying look how big cam is because mm -hmm. kelvin benjamin is for a receiver he's a giant yeah. right yeah. Mm -hmm. and 
he was literally and then figuratively the bigger man because Kelvin Benjamin wouldn't stand up to him. Right. He, he wouldn't tell him. He, right. he couldn't deal with him. He said, as we just saw, I wasn't even trying to listen. Well, he wasn't yeah. because he knew he didn't have a comeback. Right. It caught him off guard. It caught him flat-footed. And but what did he expect, Skip? He made this comment last yeah. week. You know you playing him in a week. I don't know. Why not wait until after this game? You're never going to see him again. I don't think they play in the regular season, and no. you've been done with it. You wouldn't but, have had But it. as you know, during warm-ups, sometimes you just don't cross paths. So no. He might have thought it wasn't going to happen. No, no, no. I'm, saying, I'm yeah. saying, Kelvin Benjamin, why make these comments when you know you're going to play the Panthers and the Bills are going to oh, play oh, in the preseason? I don't know how many weeks before. I don't know when the interview was conducted. I think I'm it was just sure. last week. It was just it came out last week. In the Athletic, yeah. So now I'm thinking, okay, Make the you can. I'm not saying you should have made the comment, but if you're going to make it, why not just go ahead and make it? Then you don't have to worry, especially after this game. Okay. You don't have to worry about seeing Cam to maybe the off season if you're bumping each other. Okay. Make, but he had an opportunity to have said it even right. a few days ago, and stand up to it. Right. Back it up. Yeah. Just say, hey, I said this because of X, Y, and Z. Right. And I stand by it. Right. And if he looked Cam in the eye and said, that's just the way I feel. Right. I don't know how Cam can come back on that one. And how you feel about what? Bro, you had your best years with me. I had my best years without you. So I'm trying to figure out the problem. Okay. You don't come to my house. We party together. You eat my food. Ride with me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I skip. This is what I tell you. And I just tweeted this morning. So you got to be careful about who you let in your boat. Who's ro when they're in the boat with you, Skip, make sure they're rowing and not drilling holes when you're not watching. You got to know your circle.